It's the Cold the Math Lady. Today, we're doing something called the decimals chart. And really, this is not anything new for you, but it's a summary lesson for how we handle decimals. Take a look. So when talking about decimals, when we are adding or subtracting decimals, what do we do? Let's think about it. If I have 5.21 plus 1.33, I have to do what to add them? Well, I would rewrite it and I would line up my decimals and then I would add. So that's the rule. Line up your decimals and then add or subtract. So I'm going to write in here, line up. Okay, well, what about uh, multiplication? What do we do? Well, let's take a look. If I was doing 0.5 times 0.3, what would I do? Well, I'd write it like this. Oop, there we go. There's my decimals. And I would multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. And then I would count my decimals. 1, 2. And I would place them in here. So that's what we do for multiplication. We multiply. And then count our decimals. Okay. What about when we divide? Well, there's two ways to divide. We can divide by a whole number and we can divide by a decimal. Let's say we were going to divide um, 1.55 divided by the whole number 5. Let's set it up. We would write our division problem. And then what do I usually tell you to do here? Go ahead and put that decimal in your quotient. And now we divide. 5 goes into 15 3 times, 5 goes into 5 1, and that would be our answer. So the shorthand for division by a whole number is we move the decimal point up. All right, and one more. What happens when we divide by, that's not December, it's my shorthand for decimal. When we divide by a decimal. So if we were going to do 1.55 divided by 0.5. Let's set that up like a division problem. Now we know we just can't go ahead and put our quotient or put our decimal in the quotient, right? We got to do something else first. Ah, so we have to move this decimal over, which means we're going to move this decimal over. And now we can go up. And we would go ahead and do our math the same way. So 5 now goes into 15 three times, and 5 goes into 5 one time. There you go. So over here, our shorthand would be over, over, and up. Okay, that's it. As I said, nothing new in this lesson. It's just a summary of how we handle decimals. Not bad, right? Okay, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you next time. Hope you're having a good one. Bye-bye.